Exporting data from a table or a grid to a CSV file is a very common requirement in business applications. So I'm going to show you how to do that with Vadinflow. So here I have a grid uh, with some data about books and several columns. So notice this one, for example, with the, uh, with the progress bars there, right? The rest is just text and I can order um, the, the data by clicking the, the columns. Anyway, uh, on the code side, what we have is a, a book class, which is kind of a, um, uh, it could be an entity, a JPA entity, or it can be a domain uh, um, class or anything that it capsulates the, the data, right? So a business business object, and uh, I have uh, something to create, automatically create the ideas. You, you won't find these uh, when you're using JPA or other frameworks, really. Uh, but you probably will find an ID. We have a title, author, publisher, which is another class that has only it only has a name, which is enough for our purposes in this uh, video. Quantity, I'm creating some uh, random value there, and a description. The rest is uh, constructor and getters and setters. The other thing I want you to notice is before we go to the to the code of the view, is um, that we are going to use uh, this library, Open CSV, which is uh, free. So you can add it to your project like that. Now this is a view. So what we have is a grid of books. I'm creating several columns here, even a, a component column, as you saw there in the browser. And uh, some configurations, um, nothing really very special. And we are setting the items from a book service class. So I'm getting all the, all the um, all the books that may come from a database or a file or whatever. We add then that grid to the vertical layout and that's it. So um, let's implement the logic or let's add the component first to, uh, to download the file. So I'm going to create an anchor. And if you look at the options in the, from the constructors, we have an abstract stream resource. So we're going to use that. Now, uh, I don't have it right now, but let's call that stream resource download, download. And let's use var here and add that download to the vertical layout. Okay. So we need to create this object stream resource and what you need what you want to do here is create a stream resource from this package that's the one you need and here we'll specify the name of the file so it's going to be books.csv for example then we specify a stream resource writer or an input stream factory. So let's use uh, that one. Um, that's just a factory that you implement through a um, Lambda expression like this. So it's a functional interface. And we need to return a new, for example, byte array input stream. And here we need to pass the, the bytes that form that, um, that stream. So for example, let's take A, B, C and get bytes. Of course, we will replace this later. But uh, with this, we should get a file with this content. So let's try that out. All right, so we should have download option there. It creates a file. And let's open this with some um, software in the machine. I believe it's uh, called numbers. And uh, we have there ABC. So that part is working. Now we can focus on actually creating the, the contents of that uh, file. Contents. That doesn't exist. So let's fix that. Um, so here's where we uh, start using the, um, the library. But actually, before that, we need to get the books, right? So we need to get what's inside the uh, uh, the grid and 
we could easily just call this uh, this uh, service class again or method but we want to be as close as possible to what's in the grid so I prefer to do this uh, get generic data view and from there we can get a stream of items let's assign these to books and uh, I'm not gonna use var here because it's not clear what's the type of this uh, object so let's uh, leave it as is now we can use the library the open uh, CSV library and so for that we need to create a writer which is going to be the output so I'm going to create a new string writer let's call that output and uh, and then we need to create a new I think it's called state stateful bin to CSV we need to create an object of this of this type but let's use the builder and it's parameterized with the type we want to convert or transform if you wish and here we pass the writer which is the output now this is a builder so it implements the builder pattern so we need to call build here and that's gonna return a um, an object that we need now over here I'm gonna actually use var um, and once we have that object been to CSV we just write and look there are several options one of them is a stream of books which we already have so once that's done and well before we need to um, we need to uh, enclose that in a try catch probably need to return let's return null here for now uh, that should be all right for this demo um, this is what I want, want to um, I want you to focus on right so we have uh, written that part let's move that here now the contents what's the contents contents it's gonna be the output to a string and that's it I think um, if I didn't make any mistakes this should work and we should get a file with some data let's see what kind of data we get all right so click download let's open the file and yeah we have some uh, data now we have description description wasn't there but we also have ID and XID and, and maybe this is data we don't want to show to the to the user right so we want to exclude that so let me show you how to do that there is an annotation so you can go to book uh, um, file and do it uh, with an annotation to remember what's the name of the annotation it's probably like CSV ignore or something similar but I'm gonna use it if you don't want to change the book or, or you can't because uh, for example the book class comes from a jar file or a library that you're using uh, you can you can do it here as well with ignore field and then you pass the type book.class and you pass the actual field so we need the book class and we get the field now uh, this is for public field so declared field is the one we need and this of course throws a exception and we can do the same for next ID we don't want to show those um, so let's see if now we we got rid of this uh, noise in the file all right let's see what is the contents now so it seems we don't have those uh, but there's a problem here is that publisher it's showing the the hash right this is the default uh, to string implementation in object in the object class of, of Java uh, so the easiest way to fix this is just to implement the the two string this is this is of no use for the for the user so why would why would we do that right um, so let's go to the um, publisher class okay I can click this and let's let's add here a public to string and let's return actually let's return just name and that's the easiest way to do it uh, 
for now. Uh, it should be enough for this uh, demo. Okay, let's click download, open the uh, file, and now we have the publisher um, name instead of a hash, which is very good. All right, um, let me know if you have any questions about this topic or if you have suggestions on what to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.